Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, Chrome 100 was released today. And uh, so Google Chrome 100 is now in session. Um, apart from the fact that it can technically break some websites, but I haven't seen any problems personally yet. And, you know, as people use it over the next few weeks, that's where the problems are going to start showing up. Uh, the bigger problem about Google Chrome 100 is going there is important because, yes, again, more security updates. Chrome 100 actually is released with 28 security fixes. 28 security fixes. So this is important to make sure that you have Chrome 100 for that reason. Uh, this is something that, you know, it's various fixes of all sorts. Some of them are uh, minor, but there is in that uh, 28 security fix, um, basically um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 high severity uh, security fixes. So uh, this is important to, uh, to check out. Now, there are a few of the fixes that are reported that are um, some that were already fixed by the, um, the bug fixing updates, uh, the, the uh, security updates, sorry, we had in the few uh, in the past few week or so, but there's a lot of them, the medium severity and lower severity that are and a couple of high severity that are actually uh, new and updated in here. So if you want to stay safe and want to make sure that you have all the security updates applied, simply go on the upper right corner in the three vertical dots, go into help about Google Chrome and make sure that you update to the latest version 100 uh, today, March the 29th, 2022, as you will have the essential um, list and bug fixes for security flaws. Um, you know, even medium and low severity flaws might not be as easy to exploit. But since the browser is always the first line of defense on the, um, you know, Internet, because that's what you use to browse, it's always a very good idea to make sure that you update the uh, browser for the latest version. So 100 is here. Um, if you guys have some some problems on some websites with 100, um, let me know in the comments below. Be interesting to see if we can spot what websites actually are broken on version 100, and uh, that could be interesting to check out for the web browser. Um, I have not encountered anything. I use Edge 100 on the Dev and Beta channel a lot in the past month, and I personally haven't seen any websites broken. Now, of course, there are some mitigation being done. Uh, some of the websites that people know are broken are actually um, in a list in the browser where it actually shows temporarily version 99 instead of 100 for the three digits versus two digit ID. But uh, for the rest, um, I haven't had any problems. So I don't know if you guys will actually encounter any, but Whatever you do, important to update to make sure you have all the security flaws fixed in the browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.